guys are done. And don't they look lovely? This is how I feel today, Adam. Not really. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, I gotta touch that up. Man, I just, I'm just discombobulated. Can you tell, Adam? I just haven't got my stuff together. It's like I start and then I forget what I'm doing. Here we go. I, did, I think the, the problem is I don't want to face the day. All right. Creep shows for uh, this year, for this season. There's six right now. We've already shipped quite a few. I tell you that that really took some engineering to get that right. Doesn't look like much, but it's a lot. And, and then Tom's crazy eyes that he's he thought would be cool that he's now suffering. Paint those eyes. Those eyes take him. Oh, I don't know on those. And those uh, six characters, I think he spent three hours or something. They've, they start white, of course there's maroon and black, white, and then he does these airbrush lines, and then he does black, then blue, then black dots, then white dots on the black dots, then he's got to gloss them, and, and then they're, ha they're hazed. It's just, yeah, they're insane, but they look cool. This is the thing, you can make a snap decision before a trade show, say, oh, that would be cool. And then you pay the price for years. <laughs> but it's, honestly, we both, we both agree it's worth it. I'm gonna send Tyler back with the creep show clothes. Okay. Excuse me. In this case, we sent him out the bodies and he tailored the, the costumes exactly to the body so that they're they fit perfectly. It's movie quality work that um, Von Karan does, and and it's it's all custom designed to fit the props exactly. The the extra hassle our industry faces is. In film, it just, if it'll work once and you get it captured, you're done. But in our business, it's got to go over and over and over. And these things are violent and 
and so figuring out how to make something is startlingly fast and doesn't destroy itself is a challenge. A couple more eyeballs would need a poxy of these oh, guys. Okay. I can't imagine most monsters have a toothbrush. No, not usually. They might chew on bones and things. Well, that's true. Well, that's a good point. I mean, you look at a lot of animals have remarkably white teeth. Yeah. That's because they diet, right? But a lot of domesticated animals don't. I just got to get instructions and labels. Yeah, How many creep shows are going to be done today? Well, six, I think. Six? But I think we're only shipping three. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that is what Mark is. The uh, other week we were talking about skulls or something, uh -huh. and uh, that got me thinking. So I made uh, something on the 3D printer I have at home. Made a Mayan death whistle skull. Ha! That's cool. So I uh, brought it in and left it on the conference room table for you. I will check it out. In fact, maybe I'll check it out right now. Where is it? In, in the office, right? Just thought I'd sneak up on a few people with it. I don't know if I blew it right. to verify before I ship this away. <laughs> I guess. Um. Lots of big pieces, mutants and this and that, although a lot of the stuff being done this week is actually shipping next week. You know, like a lot of that stuff you see out there, the hands and all that, that's shipping next week. But yeah, besides events opening, you know, then there's a lot of stuff going just to houses animatronics, mutants and stuff like that. People, you know, people at their houses have some big, big events lots of times. Some people have thousands of people go through their houses, you know, their home haunts. I'm so happy we're through with these guys because they're hard. I mean, I, I love them, but they're hard. Yeah, they're they're not bad, but they're just continuously hard. Yeah. You, you many, know, many, many steps. It, it's just a lot of different things going on. Yeah. Oh, I'm not in control. Okay. Oh. Hey. 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 <laughs> it was just his hand. <laughs>